everyone! So for today's video, I'm very excited because this is a video that I really haven't seen done before, and I'm going to be sharing with you my top five products that I've received in beauty subscriptions that have become my favorites and some of my holy grails. I don't even know what made me think of this, but I was just thinking of subscriptions lately and if they're really worth it, and then I'm like, how cool would it be, even for myself, to just sit down, go through like all of my products that I've ever received in beauty subscriptions, and just really see what's stuck. So today's products are coming from three subscriptions from Birchbox, Ipsy, and then the Play by Sephora box. Now because I was curious, I looked up how long I've been getting these subscriptions, and with Birchbox and Ipsy, can you guys believe I've been getting them since late 2011? And obviously with the Sephora Play box, it's brand new, so I've only gotten about three of those, I think. So this is really just my experience with my subscriptions, but I just find it funny and kind of crazy, because this is what these subscriptions are for, to find new products, to find new things you love, and for me to only have a solid five from what is that almost five years of getting these that's just crazy to me so I'm sitting here and about to tell you about my first love and I realized that two of these are perfumes two of the five which I just find hilarious because perfume samples and especially Birchbox and Ipsy no one really wants them so it's just so funny to me that I have found two perfumes in these subscriptions that I've loved enough to go buy so yeah the first one is Kate Spade twirl now I have a little list of all all of my notes right here and the dates on when I received this so I got a sample of this in my December 2011 birch box and I remember just falling in love instantly this is the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle and it does come in at $80 which I know is a lot but guys I love this so much I had to break down and honestly this bottle is probably gonna last me my entire life it's so hard to describe scents, and I did look online to try to find the notes of this but all I could find was that it's fresh fruity and floral so yeah for me it's just super girly I just remember wearing this every single day back when I got it. Granted, since like, I don't know, probably for the past year or two, I haven't reached for this a ton just because I have some new favorites that I'm loving. But for me, this will always be the first product that I just remember loving from Birchbox. Next up is this little unassuming chapstick right here. And this is the Hydration Lock Chapstick by Chapstick. And I got this back in October of 2013. This is the Vanilla Cream original one. And I know they've come out with new double-ended ones that are also part of the Hydration Lock line. But this for me came in a birch box where it was like a fines product So it was one of those things that was new and that they just threw in the box But I've really grown to love it and I'm still using it today Unfortunately, I think they're trying to phase these out because those dual ended ones have now come out and those are the newer version But for me, this is just always going to be a tried and true Unfortunately, I could not find it on birch boxes site They had it on there, but you weren't able to purchase it But luckily I did find it on Walmart and it's only like 250 for me This is just one of those chapsticks that's very simple but it works like I feel like with a lot of chapsticks they really all do the same thing I'm not saying that this one is life-changing but for me it's just been a formula that I've stuck with the scent on this is really nice and subtle I don't like anything too heavy in my chapsticks and I feel like it moisturizes super well so with those two things it's just been a really great formula now I hope I said it but those first two products did come from Birchbox and this is the lone one coming from Ipsy you guys have heard me talk about this a lot but this is the Starlux Pro Luxe Longwear Eyeliner pin. Now this is $19 and you have to get it on the Starlux site. At least personally, I have never seen this brand in stores, but this is an awesome eyeliner pin and I feel like it really blows all of the other drugstore options out of the water. The packaging on this is really nice. It's super heavy duty. I really like the tip on this. I feel like it's a great size and shape. As far as the formula goes, it's really nice and opaque and deep and dark and black and I just really have so many great things to say about it. I am wearing it today. I feel like for winged liner, it's awesome and no matter matter how much I use this, I still feel like there's product in the tip. When I do wear this all day, I do see it wearing off just a little bit like in my inner corners, but for me, no matter what formula I've tried, that's happened. So with this, it's just definitely a favorite of mine. I can see myself repurchasing it in the future, and when I reach for my eyeliners, and I have a lot guys, I'm typically looking for this one. Hopping back to Birchbox for product number four, this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo, and I got this in my November 2015 box. This is really funny because just like a month before I ended up getting this, I saw the Sephora Snapchat when they were talking about this dry shampoo. And guys, I wanted to try it so bad. Many of you know I'm a huge fan of this line and like their shampoo and their conditioner. It's absolutely amazing. So when I saw they had a dry shampoo, I had to try it. So yeah, I just had it on my mind. And then I swear guys that next month I got my little email where I get to choose my product. And this was one I was able to choose. So you better believe that I grabbed it 
it as quickly as I could, and I have been so happy with this formula. I feel like dry shampoos are very hit or miss, but I feel like this does a very good job at making my hair clean and not weighing it down and making it look more dirty. I love the scent on this, and believe it or not, Jerome's been really enjoying it. I've never really noticed how great dry shampoo would be for guys until like I recommended it to him one day. So yeah, we're both loving it. It smells amazing, and this is actually my second travel size version, so I think I just need to break down and go get the full size. <laughs> and last but not least, the Stella McCarthy perfume from my Play by Sephora box from November of 2015. Now I do know that I put up my unboxing of that box, so if you guys want to see it, I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to see my like straight up first impression, but I remember just loving this from the first time I smelled it. So much so that I put it on my Christmas list for my parents. So ultimately, they picked up this little set here with the perfume and then the body lotion for 50 bucks. I did find the notes on the Sephora site and I'm going to read them off for you guys. It has a rose, a peony flower, mandarin, rose absolute, and amber in all of this. So for me, it's just very florally. I think the bottle is really, really nice. And this has been my go-to ever since Christmas. I've been wearing it every single day without fail. So I really hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my top five products from all of my beauty subscriptions that I've just really stuck with. And if you guys have any that fall into that category that you've gotten and just love to please let me know down below. And as I'm sitting here like wrapping everything up, it just hit me. I'm like, how neat would this be if it was a tag video? I just think that'd be so cool. So if you guys want to do this video, please do so and let me know. As far as some of my other YouTube friends that I would love to see do this, I'll go ahead and tag you in the description because I just think it'd be so interesting to see what other people pick for their products. But since that's all for today, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I am looking forward to those videos. Bye!